Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube World, a game I haven't purchased yet, but I'm very intrigued. I love Larian Studios. If you want to read the patch notes at your own leisure, there's going to be a link down below in the description box. They're a little bit lengthy here, so let's try to get through this as quick as possible. Change list, improvements, optimized overall sound settings to improve performance on lower spec machines. Added polish to several in-game cinematics. Attack of opportunity indicator is now correctly hidden for invisible enemies. Improved timing of some tutorial messages. Improved usability of skill selection and character creation. Added new tutorial messages related to combat. Listening to other players' dialogues now correctly shows the other players' dice rolls. The reason for a waypoint being unavailable is now displayed on the map. Party members now correctly cancel their spell prepare state when switching to another character. Fixes. Fixed a crash on startup for specific driver and hardware combinations, or a crash related to trading with Zevlor after the raid on the Grove, or a crash in dialogues related to dynamically adding items, or a crash in combat AI, or a fix for a potential crash with moving platforms, or related to loading save games while in a dialogue, or when destroying multiple familiars with a single spell, or related to unloading resources when loading a save or returning to the main menu. Fix the blocking issue when someone would join during a level transition. Or a blocking issue when starting a dialogue just as someone leaves the game. Or not being able to save anymore on the host when another player is stuck in, in dialogue state. Fix players getting stuck in the same dialogue instead inside the camp after choosing to fight Minthera. Fix characters being stuck in animation if downed during precast spell. Or characters not being at the correct position after loading, or not being able to talk to party members after talking with Gale and summoning the Weave, or not being able to use some spell scrolls when out of spell slots. Fixed a rare issue for players that don't have a profile on startup, requiring selection of a profile or creation of a new one. Fixed quest markers, not showing up correctly when multiple markers point at the same object or location. Or the tiefling celebrations not proceeding correctly if the player had already done a long rest right before. Fix the physics of the door on the nautiloid reappearing after saving and exiting. Or loading, rather. Fix the ethel not triggering her ambush if she leaves her home during combat. Or several minor bugs related to in-game cinematics. Or zone spells not targeting invisible characters. Well, that seems legit, because how would you... Uh, Target something you can't see. Fixed summons from items not having an owner, causing them not to join combat, or the goblins not using the wardrobe correctly, or issues with lockpick progress going out of sync, save game screenshots being too dark, or spell sounds not playing correctly in multiplayer, or fixed a long black screen being displayed if a dialogue was just started as another player was joining. Fixed Zevlor initiating dialogue during combat. Uh, sir, excuse me, while you're getting mutilated and you're getting your organs, uh, you know, stabbed in alphabetical order, may I have a word with you? Now I lost where I was. Fixed an audio setting, not resetting when switching profile, or not being able to correctly switch character in trade window. Not being able to click through scenery you can see through improving navigation. Or fixed the gith becoming hostile incorrectly if Lazel was never recruited. Fixed additional reroll when using an inspiration point. Or fixed inspiration points not being able to go up after using an inspiration point or gaining another one. Or an issue with the hidden vault entrance closing again after the puzzles are already solved. Or marking an item as aware not getting set correctly or being able to select summons in the trade window. Fixed Zariel Tifling Clerics not being able to level up past four or character creation color tooltips, fix characters sometimes falling off moving platforms or several animation issues with torches. Those animations have been fixed. Fix being able to select invalid targets for Misty Step skill, or not being able to see other players' hidden summons at all. Fix party members being rearranged when detaching and reattaching characters to the group. Fix certain equipment still generating sound after unequipping. Fix several textures and skinning issues. Fixed several minor localization issues. Fixed minor issues with the action log. Mac specific. Automatic crash reporters now enabled for Mac. 
And that's because generally Macs are so stable they don't need to report crashes because they generally don't crash. So, if you liked the video, as always, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It greatly supports the channel and helps promote the channel, you know, with the algorithm and all that fancy stuff. If you didn't like the video, go ahead. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And I'll just break it off in your ass. I'll just, like, grab you in, like, a wrist lock, and I'll just twist your thumb so it goes up. But I'll still leave your hand intact so it's not, like, too crippled so that you can, like, grab your mouse and, like, click and like the other videos that I upload. Anyhow, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be greatly appreciated, but if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and hopefully I'll see at least eh, maybe some of you in the next video. Bye now.